I'm Reed and I'm a student of Toronto Film School. I'm a writing student and I'm graduating in two weeks. And I do not think I want to give up on my journey here. So I've enrolled for the BBA course at the Yorkville University. I'm here at the university and I want to take a tour and I want you guys to take a tour with me. How about that? Today I'm at Yorkville University's Steels campus. This campus is located in Concord, Ontario, just north of Toronto's downtown and is home to Yorkville's Bachelor of Interior Design and the Bachelor of Business Administration with a specialization in project management, the program I enrolled in. The campus is accessible by Toronto's transit and the surrounding area has lots of different restaurants and kinds of cuisines to choose from within walking distance. The campus is easy to find your way around and it has multiple classrooms, computer labs, drafting rooms, a library, a large student lounge and a sample room for materials for the Bachelor of Interior Designing students. Classes at this campus are small, with no more than 20 students. The population of students is multicultural and there is lots of activity on campus. I'm with Dr. Rick Davey and he's the president of Yorkville University and he will tell us the history of our school. We have seven campuses. You're only seeing one of them, but you're seeing seven campuses right across Canada with one in New Brunswick, six here in Ontario, and then a seventh in British Columbia. But in addition to the Steels campus, Yorkville University and Toronto Film School has three locations at Young Dundas Square, the heart of downtown Toronto. The campuses have multiple studios, classrooms and writing rooms. There is also a campus in midtown Toronto called Davisville, which is a house for fashion studios and graphic design labs in the heart of trendy downtown Vancouver. Yorkville is housed in 10,000 square feet on the seventh floor of the building. The campus is easily accessible by train, bus, transit and ferry. The campus has seven classrooms and have a maximum of 22 students per class. There are currently 425 students on campus and students from different nationalities, with India being the largest group. We have a new campus for both Yorkville University and Toronto Film School that is currently under construction at 460 Young Street and will feature five studios, one vocal booth in addition to classrooms and there will be a student lounge and an impressive equipment room. Uh, we're, we're standing in front of the what's called the RCC wall. In fact, uh, the beginning of Yorkville University started in 1928 when uh, there was uh, Radio College of Canada, which was created to support uh, workers in the new radio industry. Uh, RCC, which became RCC Institute of Technology, had a long tradition in uh, private education in Ontario. And uh, by the early 2000s, it was ready to move into degree granting and in fact was the first and only Ontario private college to achieve degree granting status with, a, with two degrees, uh, both bachelors of technology, one in electronics and one in computer science. At the same time, about that time in 2004, Yorkville University was starting in Fredericton, New, New Brunswick, where it uh, started with a master's degree in counseling psychology and uh, was designated for online delivery of that particular degree. In 2006, the two uh, joined together uh, to, they still, they still operated independently, at which point RCC uh, purchased the International Academy of Design and Technology, which brought us the Toronto Film School, uh, which was relaunched in 2010 at the current Dundas Square campus. Uh, at about that time is when the uh, university really started to grow. We added programs, we have uh, two additional master's programs in, in education. Uh, we added the Bachelor of Business Administration, which was first delivered online to working adults. Uh, we started um, a new programming in the, at the Toronto Film School. Uh, we uh, expanded into British Columbia and opened a campus in Vancouver. Hi Ray, it's nice to meet you. Hi Crystal, very nice to meet you too. Yes. Um, well, Crystal is our international student advisor and Crystal, can you please tell us a little bit about 
um, student you... service on campus. Yes. Awesome. Actually, we have awesome stu student service on campus, and I host a workshop so for students tr to transition their lives into YU as well as in Toronto. And also, we have student activities. For example, we have Diwali Day celebration for students to dance around on the campus. And also, every Wednesday, we have uh, a little session called Bangla Cardio. So, in that cardio, students can try to develop their a little bit. Um, entrepreneurship to start their own cardio workshop and the workshop is open to all the faculty uh, students and staff so that's what we have that's wonderful <laughs>